Hi folks, have you ever ever wondered of a scenario where you would want to fail your package deliberately, uh, where you have a where you have a requirement where your SSS package needs to fail and you need to write a code for that. So how about that? Let's consider uh, the poll directory example again and look at this simple requirement and implement it. So what we have is I'm again using the same. Uh, scenario we were trying to uh, poll this directory for three times for the employee.txt files so this is the file which is to be loaded so this file is supposed to be present here I mean this package will be looking for this file in this directory and load it if it uh, once it arrives so we are trying to truncate the poll demo table in SQL server and then we are trying to check if this file is present at this directory uh, and once it exists we are trying to load that file into this table uh, which is your poll demo uh, table so that's uh, uh, that's all and if the file is not present it's going to wait for uh, 10 seconds uh, it's going to wait for 10 seconds and again uh, loop across so this for loop is uh, written for looping three times so uh, let's call it three and uh, see okay it has been initialized and it's been uh, it will loop around for three uh, uh, three times and what we have here is a conditional uh, value precedence constant which is a set to zero uh, if the file is not uh, arriving so it's going to wait in other case it's set to one now how this value is set is through the SQL task and if you see in the parameter mapping I have set the variable where is arrived value from the parameter of the SQL that I have written here so it is going to set a value of one once it ar once it arrives, uh, and based upon that. Now the actual thing that I wanted to show is uh, how about failing. Suppose a scenario where you're trying to pull uh, the directory for the file three times, and once it's complete, uh, the file is not yet arrived even after th the third wait. In that scenario, you would want to send an email, and then again. Uh, fail this package because if uh, supposing if we send an email and the job succeeds uh, we would perceive the job to succeed we don't want that we want the package to fail so that immediately someone can take the look and also troubleshoot it immediately so uh, a very simple uh, script for that uh, that would be to use the script task editor and what I am doing here is in the script task editor I'm just trying to send an email first that's again the same code from the send email task or the send email video that I have put in so this is just going to send an email and additionally failing a package so how about failing this package traditionally uh, let's use a simple line what you would write is success and this would uh, this uh, script task would succeed so since I want to deliberately fail this package once this uh, code is completed or uh, is executed I say failure so this ensures that my package fails deliberately after doing these tasks so that would be a very simple uh, and elegant way of uh, failing your package package deliberately so that's the code now let's try to execute this and see how this package goes now I say execute container and I'm not going to pay place the file emp.txt at this directory I'm not going to do that I want the package to fail I want the package to send me an email stating the same so it's going to wait for 10 seconds and then loop across package should fail so that's my result that should be my ideal result right so the package has failed the task has failed and the package is failed now let's take a look at the email so 
we have an email I have an email on my inbox that says uh, job failure file not arrived the job failed as the file didn't arrive thanks so that precisely that is precisely it friends this video walks you through uh, how to deliberately fail your package thank you